everyone i feel like i need to say welcome back to vlog but it's not it's just a normal day um i'm off this week and i'm really happy about it and so is kirk and it's the first time in ages probably ever that we've booked a week off together and we both had the full week and it's not to move house or anything like that um so we were thinking about going away um just like to a like a a cottage or something i don't know what you call it like a, a uk holiday um because obviously we've got the dog um and we've decided not to we've, we're having a staycation um so yesterday well i broke up sunday and saturday night kirk had a particularly particularly good night out with his friends so yesterday he was still nursing his hangover so we didn't do very much uh, we went out for hugo squeaking in the other room uh, we went out for dinner with my elder brother and his partner it was his birthday um and dead last minute he, did, he we went out for tea um and it was really nice we went to a place called the burnt stump Inn. And it was it was really really nice it, it's got a lovely place you could sit outside in summer and we did sit outside for a little bit squeak um and then today uh me and kirk have been to the zoo went to twy cross zoo um my friend for my birthday she works at the zoo and she was a little bit poor um and i think it's like a christmas thing because uh, my birthday's in january they've given them a few like complimentary tickets to hand out to friends as like their Christmas thing. Um, so she gave me that because she she says I'm not very well off. I just thought, and I was like, yeah, that's a really nice present anyway. Um, but especially if you're not particularly well off, I wouldn't expect anything at all. But so we went today and we did see her actually. I knew she was in, but I didn't expect to see her because at, at that zoo you don't you don't necessarily or a lot of them don't have like an area so you don't particularly work with like the lemurs or the meerkats or you sort of do a bit of everything um and just on the off chance he went into there was a butterfly house um and we saw her in there so it was nice we had a bit of a chat but she was working so i didn't want to take her away from that um yeah so so far so good i keep having a little chuckle to myself that i'm still off tomorrow um i don't go back to work till next tuesday so i've still got a full week off which is nice um and kurt goes back next monday so i've got a day without him um yeah and that's it really work was manic so i'm glad that i'm not there for a bit um and unfortunately <laughs> um so i don't know if i mentioned because i can't remember when vloggers ended on friday my brother phoned me um he was going his girlfriend who they only live a matter of yard like it's like a street away they really don't live very far um and it was before we got in contact with each other so we didn't know that i lived here so it's really it's you know it's a weird coincidence um but he said um him and his girlfriend his girlfriend's from burnley so that's quite away from here um and they were going to see her family for the weekend um, and right last minute his mum said that she couldn't go around and feed the cat that morning um, so would I be able to go I said yes of course um, in the meantime because they were leaving Friday night and coming back Saturday night so it was only Saturday daytime that she needed seeing to um, and so I said yeah I'll go and feed her and you know make sure she's all right and give her a fuss and a love and sit with her for a bit um, and so he he particularly dislikes fig rolls which if you're not i don't know if they're uh, outside of uk thing but it's a kind of biscuit um and it's got like dried fig in the middle and then it's like a, it's like a soft biscuit you wouldn't really dip it in a cup of tea or anything um and i think they are a bit of an acquired taste I particularly like them but we had a conversation a few weeks ago about i i've got a funny thing about i really don't like mint and toothpaste and chewing gum obviously i have to brush my teeth um and i can just about manage to eat a tic tac but just like i don't like to get toothpaste like all down me and i don't like to watch other people brushing their teeth and i don't like chewing gum and the thought of getting it stuck in my hair or i just don't like it um and so we were talking about things that we didn't like so i thought why don't we 
going to feed the cat, I'll bring you a packet of pig, fig rolls, pig rolls, fig rolls. Um, I didn't do anything horrible. I just left them in, because I did think about posting them through his letterbox, but I didn't know if, I didn't want the cat to get into them or anything if, you know, she was, I don't know what she's, she's only a kit, she's not a kitten, but she's probably like five months, six months old. So they're still getting to know her. Um, as well and she's like developing her own personality so I did uh, it's I did I wouldn't want to put the cat in danger by giving a packet of fig rolls for it to get through is bit what I'm saying so I just put them on the coffee table because they back they'd what they'd done is you walk from the street into the living room and then they've got a back room and a kitchen and so what they'd done is left the cat the back room the kitchen and all of the upstairs um, and shut the living room door and they put a door stop there so you couldn't get through so knowing that the cat wouldn't be able to get into the front room I put the fig rolls on the coffee table we also wrote on his calendar on the day which I think it was the first it was a Saturday Ruth and Kirk was here very mature then I was at work Kirk went out with his friends and at about nine o'clock I was in my pajamas eating my dinner taking the dog and everything, settled in for the night. Kirk was off out with his friends, so I thought, ooh, night to myself, brilliant. Got, uh, I got a phone call off Kirk, and he doesn't really ring up. He'll text, you know, just to check in a bit while he's out with his friends, but I just tend to leave him alone, because especially when he's had a couple of years, he doesn't normally make much sense, and it's the same when I go out. As long as we know each other's safe, we don't really want to... We'll see each other when we get in. Enjoy your time with your friends. That's That's what we're like. Um, so it was, it was quite weird to get a phone call off him and my immediate thought was oh god what's happened so he rang me and he went and he said that next door Trevor and well Trevor had rang him and said that someone had come and cream caked the car and I went what someone in a silver BMW and then I thought Luke's got a silver BMW has come and cream caked the car I thought oh my god that's that's a bit far that is so I was trying to look out of our bedroom window so I'm like facing the car now let me see if I can show you like you can't see this because it's a tree but that is not our car <laughs> that that tree and then just I can't show you next to the tree like the trees covering where our car is outside but if you go into our bedroom which is next door there's not a tree covering it and so but there is a out there's a lamp outside uh, it's not a lamp street light so I was looking and we've got a grey car so when the light was shining on it it looked like there was something white smeared down it and it kept moving and I was like is it the light or is there, is there cream down the car I thought you wouldn't put cream and, I, and so I went out I got dressed there was two girls because we've got a bit of a green in front of our house so a lot of kids play on there and there was two girls sat on the floor so I thought I can't even just like nip out in my night, like nip out. I've got to get so I got dressed. So I thought I don't want them laughing at me. They'll probably put me on Facebook or something. Um, and I went out, and there was a tube of toothpaste, um, a packet, a fig roll packet. There was fig rolls all over the bonnet of the car, um, and there was a note on flowery note paper that said, "Be careful, kiss, kiss." <laughs> And, and so I rang Kurt back and said, no, there's not cream cake all over the floor and I'll send you a picture of what there is. So now, um, so we've been arranging a night out with my brothers and their partners. We're going on Friday. Um, this is nine minutes of me telling you this story and it's probably not even funny. And so now we've started a bit of a war. So I did a nice thing of taking a packet of biscuits round, but now we started a war. So last night I had a load of pom-poms that I'd made um, it was probably before I even started crocheting and I got them in like um, like an aqua colour I think they did one at the pound shop a while ago um, and I just made a load of these blue ones I'd done a couple of grey and a couple of white and I was going to make one of those rugs that you get like the non-slip mat and then you tie pom-poms to it and then you've got like a pom-pom rug I was going to make one of those, but I was like sort of realising how, how much wool and time and effort it takes to make a pom-pom. So I just put them all in a bag um, and did nothing with them. And then I think I came to use one and it was falling apart. I'd not tied it tight enough. Sorry, there's motorbikes going past. Um, 
I'd not tied it tight enough so I looked at another one and I managed to pull it apart and I thought these pom-poms really aren't very good I can't like stick them on a hat or anything they'll fall to bits so I'd left them in this bag for ages and thought oh I probably should just chuck them away or stick them in my I've got that vanish tub that I use that's got um yarn scraps in so I thought oh maybe I should just stick them in that and I left them and I left them and I left them um and then last night I was like should we tie him to his car so last night now it's fortunate that we have had to follow my brother in his car before because when we do that I just sort of because I'm not obviously I know I know what his car looks like but from the back I'm not a car connoisseur so I don't I tend to remember the number plate so I just remember the last few letters numbers digits of the number plate and that's what we followed so I remembered what it was um and so we went last night and he doesn't park at, he lives on a main road so he can't really park at and he's got a crossing in front of his house so he can't really park outside of his house very often but I know where he parks so we went and I made sure it was the right number plate um and we tied a pom-pom to each of the door handles uh Kirk tied one to the wheel rims is that what it's called the wheel thing like the thing that falls off um we tied some on a string in a knot and hooked them over the wing mirrors um and then i tucked some inside the windscreen wipers as well he didn't have an aerial so i couldn't tie one to that but he's not said anything um but he did send after he'd done the toothpaste and fig roll thing he did send um a message to me that was a a gif that was from the Winston Churchill movie and it said that we shall never surrender so if you have any ideas for pranks please let me know I'm very conscious to not want I don't want to do anything that's gonna like I don't want to ruin his car I don't want to egg his car and ruin the paintwork or anything I don't want to do anything like post anything that could kill the cat or do you know what I mean but I want to do silly things like he's a massive Nottingham Forest supporter um and if anyone who lives locally probably knows that Nottingham Forest and Derby County are massive rivals and he is a massive Nottingham Forest fan so I want to get because he lives on the main road I want to get a Derby County poster or a flag or a scarf oh sorry I nearly choked um and stick it to his front window he also lives next door to a chip shop and I did think about sticking a note on that said free chips not here <laughs> and uh perhaps putting some caution tape over his front door <coughs> sorry like i don't want to cling film his car and potentially make him really late for work do you know what i mean so i want to do something that's harmless so if you've ever been in this kind of situation please help what did you do and also not only do i not want to like ruin his life but i also don't want the retaliation because i don't know how far he's going to take it um I was speaking to my older brother about it last night because Luke unfortunately couldn't come so I was trying to get older brother on side um and he was laughing and he was you know he was saying like this is you know he's a he's he's just got out of the army he's probably like up on his pranks he's he's, he's into this and they probably take it too far I'm thinking oh my god what have I got into um so we'll see um I'll keep you posted I'm sorry that was a really long story 13 minutes um, I do have some crochet to show you, uh, but I just thought it was funny. That's what I've been doing with my week is trying is googling pranks basically. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you what I'm doing for the rest of the week, and then I'll show you the crochet because I'm in a waffly mood. Um, tomorrow we are having the plumber come round. It is tomorrow. I've been unsure of what day it has been all week. Um, so tomorrow the plumber's come in. Um, we've got a problem with our. Both us and our, our neighbour that we're joined on to have got a problem with the waste pipe. Um, it's not anything drastic, like there's not poo flying across the garden or anything, but it is a waste pipe. So although it doesn't look like anything drastic is happening, realistically, it's not something you want a problem with. So he's coming to fix and replace and sort that out for us tomorrow. Um, but I've, I, he said it's not going to take long, so that's good um so i don't know what we've got i'm going to sleep more tonight um i don't know what we're doing tomorrow daytime uh tomorrow 
afternoon probably not a lot probably gonna have an easy day again um and then thursday we've not got anything planned in the day but in the evening we're going out for charlotte's birthday um, we're going with her mum and her dad and her sister and her partner and obviously charlotte's partner will be there as well um and my other friend heather is coming um and i think it's tapas and i've never had tapas before not properly um so that'd be nice and friday we're going into nottingham on a night out with my both my brothers and their partners and kirk so that would be nice and then saturday and sunday and monday i don't have any plans yet so the world is still my oyster <laughs> um yeah i'm i don't i don't when i have a week off i normally don't do a great deal um but this is like our staycation so we're eating out a lot and doing things and like we went we came i can hear a strange noise outside uh we came home from the zoo we were only there probably two and a half hours um it was a bit cold and we saw everything we wanted to see it was free tickets we had a really good day but i didn't feel like i needed to spend the day there um it definitely was it was really good and we really enjoyed it um but we'd had enough and I, I did say to kirk on the way back i said i don't feel like i need to defend that i had a really good time because i know i had a really good time but equally i don't feel like every experience you have has to either be wow that was amazing or oh my god that was awful it can be a i really enjoyed that i've had enough now thanks um so on the way home we, me and Kirk just went to costa for a coffee and it was just nice it, i know it sounds silly but that's not something that we do a lot just I feel like we go out to eat because we're hungry or we go out to do this because of this and it's not very often we go and do something and just sit and relax and enjoy ourselves uh, just the two of us so that was nice it was like it was like a proper date um yeah so so that's that's my week um and i'm really looking forward to it i have been missing filming it's been really weird especially today i want to be like hi guys welcome to like vlog timber day one or whatever day is it three six nine um yeah but it's been nice i feel like i've been having a break um i don't know if i will be doing vlogtober we will see we will see um i think i almost definitely know that i probably won't be doing vlogmas so to everybody that's mentioned it i don't think it's going to happen i work in retail december and november are the busiest times of year for me and my colleagues um work wise i probably will do a lot of overtime i'll be doing long hours i'll be very grumpy i'll be very tired um so i don't think i'll be doing vlogmas um but i might do i might do vlogoween or whatever it is we'll see i'm not promising anything yet um i have been doing well on my scraps uh kendra from hooked by happenstance has tagged me in one of her posts on instagram she is doing scrap timber so if you're on instagram um and you're on either my or her instagram you follow either of us um she tagged me in a post she's posting every day i can't think of the words she's posting every day um what she's working on with her scrap projects she has a lot more than me I don't necessarily have scrap projects, I have scrap yarn that I think, oh I could probably use that up and make a bit of room, whereas she's trying to get down some projects I think as well. Um, but we are using, she's invited me to use um, yarn scrap timber, or one word, because scrap timber is a thing in other craft communities apparently, so I found a bit rubbish. So I've been doing that and I'm just trying to post a photo every day. Um, she's posting a photo every day. I'm sort of posting a photo as I do things. So I'm going to show you what I've done anyway. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen this. I apologise. But I've been making hexagons. Now I think I showed you this sort of half made. So what I've decided to do is I didn't follow a pattern. What I did was on the first row where you do your... I'm going to call this a shell because I think that's what Jada and Stitches calls it. Um, so you do like your shells and your chains. Normally for a granny square you'd put four in. 
I normally do three, but I've only done two to make it a bit holier. Um, normally you put four in. I've put six in and it's made me a hexagon. So I don't know if I've done anything else different. Obviously I've made more corners to make it a hexagon, but that's what I've done. But I'm sure if you go on YouTube or anywhere, you'll find a granny hexagon tutorial or pattern in I'm sure you can work it out like I did as well it it wasn't particularly difficult you just have to sort of get your head around the more the extra corners um so I decided to do a 10 round one and make it quite big so it's I haven't got particularly big hands so I don't know why I'm doing that oh a 15 centimeter ruler so it's really hard to show you when they get big and floppy So it's like, it's like six inch, six inches hot. So it's probably 12 inches. Um, and I did this one first, which is using pastels. And then I used a rainbow yarn. And when that finished, I used two, ed uh, two edges, two rows of gray on the edge. Um, I used the B and M baby yarn. I used the Eskimo from Lollies, which I think is called Fairground. I really like this yarn. It's a bit rough, but it's pretty. I did a rainbow, which is just a collection of my scraps. And then I picked shades of green, sort of. So this is like a white with green and blue flecks in. A couple of greens, a variegated and another green. And I've done six so far. Oh. And it's coming along. It like builds up quite quick. I think because obviously if I'd done a ten round square, which I think these are ten round squares actually. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I just think granny squares take up a lot. That's my ugly blanket, by the way. Pretty. Um, and what I've been doing, and I found better, is I've been sewing. Them, so I've been leaving a really long end, and just sewing them together. And you don't. I don't. I like. I don't mind sewing. I'm not a massive fan of sewing ends in, but I have said before, if I'm in the mood for doing something, but I don't know what to do, but I know I want to do something, I'll sit and sew ends in till I can think of something to do, which is why this sits half done. But I need to get this done so I can wash it and dry it. So it's going to be a Christmas present. Um, I can stay on the floor. Yeah, so I've been sewing the ends together. Um, because it's like a bit of a wacky blanket anyway. I didn't really mind about it too much. I don't think it looks terrible. It's not massively neat. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And it's just going to be, there's going to, I want to try and make, there'd be no rhyme or reason at all. So with the ugly blanket, it was like one of every variegated yarn and then I did a row of black, then I did a row of the colour, then I did a row of black again. I want this to just be loads of 10 round hexagons in whatever. And you know, not trying to like space out colours or anything. So I'm just doing each hexagon as I, like this one, I was like, oh, I pick greens. And this one was like, oh, I pick pastels. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to make it random. Um, it will probably be a gift for someone for Christmas. I don't know who. Um, I'm not, I'm just trying to do, there's a piece of fluff there. Um, I'm just trying to use up scraps. And if I need to break into more, like I've got this, which is technically open. But there's probably like 90 grams there. I think I've used a little bit. So, and there's, I've got a few variegated as well that I've just made a, like one square out of and not used anything else. So if I have to break into other yarns, I'm not too worried. I think I need, and I think I'm happy with, I'm still on a yarn van. I did go in a charity shop today and it had yarn in it. And I was like, oh, I didn't buy any. Um... Yeah, so I'm still I'm still stash busting a bit. Um, I'm going to continue with the box of scraps I've got downstairs first because I think 
that will sort of keep into although it's a lot of colours keep into those colours will sort of tie this all together eventually uh, but if I get bored of making hexagons I'm just going to stop I'm not going to be like oh I should just make a blanket I'm just stop and I'll make something else like the ice cream or whatever uh, yeah but I'm enjoying it Kirk said <laughs> Kirk last night made me laugh he was like oh because I was like oh, what do you think and I held it up he was like have you made all that today I was like no I think I made I made these two I made this Friday I sort of made this over Friday and I started it Friday finished it Saturday sewed them together and then Sunday I think I did the rainbow one and this pink and blue one and the rainbow and then yesterday I did this one and this one it's really hard to show you and then yesterday I concentrated on sewing them together and I've been trying to do ends as I go because it's not that much fun but that I'm enjoying this more than I'm enjoying sewing the ending on the ugly blanket um yeah so uh yeah so what I was saying was I was like oh god that's a lot and I was like yeah it's quite compared to what I've been doing like a granny square a month if that I was like yeah I've not done bad have I was like I think your crow is back I was like yeah I think it is um so he made me laugh I didn't know he knew what crow Joe was um so I've just picked my finger and it's probably going to bleed in a minute. So I think I'm going to go and I don't know when I'll be back next. Um, I'm really enjoying everyone's vlog timber, flip timber, vlog every day September, veds, I don't know. Um, I'm glad Sonia and Denise decided to carry on as well. Um, I did not because I'm not crazy but they are so fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I will go for now because this is 30 minutes long and I'm just re and I told a 15 minute story about basically practical jokes, which is nothing to do with crochet, but never mind. Um, I do still need um, to work through some comments from vloggist. I was really bad. I was really bad at it, but I will get there. Um, and if I don't, then I do read every comment. I really do. I read it as it comes onto my phone. But then I clear it and I go back and comment and like comments and such at a later time when I because the video starts playing on my phone. So like if it does it at work, I don't want to watch the video at work. People are like, why are you watching a video of yourself? What? What's this? And I have to explain. Um, so I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you to everyone who watched. What did I do? Vlogist. I'm getting confused with other vlog months. Um, I really enjoyed doing it I think I will do it again um, and I think it I just probably will make videos not even necessarily more often but I won't have to wait like wait for my day off or wait till I've done something I'll just do one to just catch up um, I like even if I look terrible and I've been at work all day I can just be like hi everyone I'm really tired um, yeah so thank you all for watching I hope you are having a lovely week whatever you're doing um, I realise not everyone is as fortunate as me to be off all week um, and a lot of the kids are back at school so that's sad um, but yes thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon bye